Hey everybody, Vice here. Welcome back to Let's Play Undertale Yell. Let's continue on. Since last time we continued through the dunes, explored some mines, and took on a um tricky rhythm boss. And now we're continuing on, I guess, the ending part of dunes. There's a note attached to the cactus. 50% off on all of our products. The S in the products is clearly scribbled out. So a product. Gift shop to hit shop ahead. Opening hours, Monday Friday, 8 a.m., 4 p.m., Saturday, Sunday, a.m. to 2 p.m. Lunch breaks, 12 a.m. to 12 15 p.m. Step right up! We got a blowout sale going on. It may look like we're almost sold out, but quite the contrary. We only ordered one stock of mug. It's been on this treasure shelf for 13 years. Demand is desperately low, so take advantage of this offer now. Only 40 buckos. Bye. Disappointed, but not surprised. <laughs> How much? I got 60. I don't make the rules. Sales over. You had a chance to buy premium mug, but refused. Lucky you won't find out home anytime soon. Sorry, I don't make the rules. So basically, you just had to automatically have the money, or else you wouldn't have been able to buy, wouldn't have been able to buy it. I would try to reload the save in order to cheat it, but something tells me I can't do that. So I'm not even going to attempt, unless doing this and going back does it. Should I attempt it? Nah. We'll say it is kind of rude to not give you a second chance when you don't know if you're even going to have the, amount, the right amount of money, but okay. Rosa approaches from the flower bed, twisting a flower in her hand. Inquire. You ask if you can have one of the Rosa's flowers. I don't know. Can you? Oh, God. Well, I took one, whether you want or not. Rosa gives you a thumbs up. Okay, good. It's like, don't do that grammar stuff with me, please. Howdy! Gee, looks like we're getting close to an exit from this place. Aside from those mines, time has been pretty friendly to us. Should we... Should we see if you're on... Oh, Clover? Great. Clover! You're alive! You're here! You're... here. I can't believe myself. I left you all alone in that cave. You had to brave the dunes by yourself. I'm a horrible friend. They trust me to be a royal guard and I left a child for dead. Like, what is wrong with me? It's okay. I... Yes, thank you. You're clearly able to take care of yourself. The rest just happened so fast. When I saw what had happened to you, I panicked. Flew over the same landscape and found this town. I soon realized that I couldn't risk getting other monsters involved. They might question to me and I cannot keep secrets. They could have turned us into a more sinister They could have turned us in bah. They could have turned us into the more sinister royal guards. So I uh sat by a cactus for an hour thinking of what piece of garbage I am. Then I got the courage to travel back to you and apologize, but here we are. Or here you were. So I'm really sorry, forgive. Thank you, Clover. You're very kind. Anyway, we should move on. I said that I won't leave you aside now. I'll follow wherever you lead. You just endure some crazy underground shenanigans, though. I understand if you need to rest for a bit. If you want to hang around, that's great. I didn't get the sightsee at all on the way over here. Well then, friend, shall we be off? I wonder... Will you convince him to give me another chance at the mug? It was over. You had your chance to buy premium mug. Fears you won't be able to find much. I'm sorry. Don't make the rules in this economy. Nope. Oh well, it was worth a try. See if something changed. 
Actually. Oh. Okay, now how long are you going to be with us is the question. Welcome to Oasis Valley, home of the largest body of water in the dunes. Pinch, pinch, hee hee, beware of my pincers, traveler. I do not have any treasure hidden within my shell. Why do you want to just keep asking me that? We are not caged in these fences, traveler. Here's a choice. It's nice to live in a family... Famili I mean, in a little bit. It's nice to live in a familiar place with the pack. It's also nice to be fed and taken pictures of. Hey look, it's a desert oasis bay leaf looking thing. I mean, it just looks like the Pokemon bay leaf that was ground type and in the desert. Where's that rock type? This monster is too busy quenching their thirst to speak. With eye catching water like that, who could resist? Your reflection sparkles and shoots in the pool of water. You notice a high tech nutrition system keeping it drinkable. Hello, darling. How are you doing today? It's a lovely day, ain't it? It's always this hot and humid, you think? I just moved here from Snowden, so I'm not sure yet. But a local like you would know, right? I got a question for you, actually. Do you do have some sort of spectrum of hot around here? See, like, not just hot, but blazing hot versus sweltering hot. You know what? You look busy. We'll talk later, uh, later or something. Hmm. Man, there is a lot to explore here. Above the table is a painting of a large smolder stone. It's almost as if the heat leaps right off the canvas. Visiting from the Wild East, are you? I must say, I haven't seen your face around these parts. Welcome to my abode, young one. As you may notice, I have a knack for the preservation of life. Grass is very rare here. For any to grow, there must be a source of water close by or amongst the ground. I try my best to keep my own little patch happy. It's one of my many hobbies. You found 30G in one of the pants pockets. Take it? Nah. It's a cafe, okay. Hello, traveler. Would you be interested in having your fortune told? Only 5G per fortune. Now, you may be thinking that price is a little low. A call the fortune from Trans Fortune Teller costs 5G? Well, your suspicions would be correct. See, I'm a fortune teller in the training, so I'm selling tiny fortunes. Practice, you see. So, can I enter you in a bite sized fortune? Sure. Let's see what the world has in store for you. Hmm, oh dear. The fortune seems to indicate you're in for a tumble. Oh no, it looks like a big one, too. It will happen very soon. Hang on. Oh, tumbleweed. I guess I got a little excited and missed that second part. Sorry for the scare. Looks like everything is fine after all. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's away from the town. Cafe, sure. The game zone. We'll check that in a minute. If you can up on your life for being a wrangler to experience mo modernism... I suggest doing so. It is the most prestigious life could one choose. Cheek architecture, light switches, latte machines, it's all here. Once you indulge, you can't stop. I would sell you something, but I'm on strike. The owner needs to do better themselves. That's me. I'm the owner. <laughs> okay. Tales drawing depicts three happy monsters. A present family by me. Yo, what do you want? I'm in the middle of a game stash. Oh, you're a kid like me. I bet you're good at these machines. Have you tried out Mew Mew Love Blaster? It's addicting. 
I suck at it, though. Here there's a final boss, but I've never seen anyone reach it. But you could totally kick its butt. I remember this game working more effectively in the past. Air pressure seems to have been tampered with or something. Concerning this table doubles as an AC, that ain't good news. Out of order, please stop feeding it money. <laughs> Send 3G to play this machine. Mew Mew Love Blaster. Team Y Blanco. Mew Mew Love Blaster. Help. Dash to safety, hold X to go further. Give your all shoot by holding Z. Avoid sadness, spread joy, okay? That's one one life and no continues. Oh boy. There actually is the final boss here. Mew Mew Love Blaster. Uh, I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna quit that for now. Something tells me that there might actually be something there, but for now we're going to skip it. Free hugs, cactus. Hey, dude. I know you say no, but I'm selling free hugs. Jerry, darn it, you already read my sign, didn't you? I hate myself. Big sale, big sale. Come and eat food made by spiders for spiders of spiders. Poppers go to the spider's need. Will you buy a spider donut for 7G? Wait a minute. Sure. You got a spider donut. You are most gracious. Have a nice day. Now don't bother asking, I'm close to shop, okay? This was a dumb idea. Even if you did hug me, which would be sick, I'd probably kill you. No, intentionally, of course. That'd be a crime, and I hate crime. Oh, great. You might be a criminal, and now you definitely won't hug me. Just walk away. It'd be better for both of us. You still want a hug? Bro, you need to learn when to let go. If you won't leave me alone, the hugs are no longer free. In fact, they're very expensive. Whatever amount of money you own, own, they're like triple that. Okay, you guys want a hug, but I... But I'm in this way too deep. Normal resistance, please. And okay. A sapling sits within the ground, new to life and unsure of itself. It's full of potential, but you yet to reach it. One day it might. Nothing from the vine? Okay. Some kind of ancient inscription. It's like Egyptian hopscotch. Sorry, I'm not home. Sorry, I'm not home. Okay. U GPS. You have a watch? If you don't, that's fine. 
Because you know what time it is? Mail time, mail time. You receive mail. I truly hope you like your mail. As for me, I must set sail. Mail. Shuffler's letter. Read. Delightful recruit. Toast here. There's someone out in the wild that we forgot to warn you about. Scuffy fellow with a blue hat. Don't wreck with him or support his endowers. You won't. I won't tell you why, because the little letter read way cooler as a mystery. Now let's swig fish this week. He gets upset when he misses out on writing letters. Yeah, upset, Swig. So don't support the guy in blue who. Hmm. I wonder if I still should anyway. Though it might get expensive later on. Oh, oh, hey, Clover, remember how I told you I pre appreciate appreciated a human last week? That's her. You still think I'm... Your captain did explain to you I'm not a human, right? Please tell me she did. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just thought you... No, no, I'm sorry. I just get it often. It's totally fine. You wouldn't believe how many grumpy monsters I deal with. Not that you're a grumpy monster. I'm sure you're very nice. <laughs> anyway, what's your name? Clover, huh? No, not you, silly her. I... Actually, how about Red? <gasps> oh! Oh, that Red... The Red fan game battle with that one character that someone made. Okay, it's you. That's why your colleagues have kept calling me every time I get falsely apprehended. To be honest, I hope that eventually I'd be caught enough that you'd all recognize me and it'd stop. I might just be wired to join the guard at this point. Join? That'd be fantastic! I'd be glad to show you the ropes of my job. You could even help me build puzzles. That might be a code violation now that I think about it. Uh, it's fine. What? I can't be that easy to- It can't be that easy to get in, right? I mean, they let me join. We'll figure it out. Me and Clover have some important business to attend to. But I should be free next week. You can find me doing my duty around Snowden any day. Oh. You're serious? <laughs> I mean, uh, sh sure? Sounds like a plan. See you then. See ya. See ya, Red. Triplets. Triple barrels. Oh no, that scream's moving on. Okay, let's go back other directions, like up. A large ornate gate. Unfortunately, it's locked. Okay, I guess we do have to go that way. So yeah, Red's here. Cactus is blocking the way. Sorry, buddy, this path is blocked. I ain't moving no matter what anyone does to provoke me. You wouldn't understand. Your boss behavior. Hey. Okay. Also, Cactus Apple or peach fruits around or something. Save. Of course, Flower didn't show up there. The dude's wishing well. Hold a G close to your chest, think of what you might want, and toss it in. You never know. If enough monsters wish for something, it may come true. Well, 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 what do we have here? Uh, I left my own G at home. Would you lend me one? Sure. Thank you. Hmm. I wish. That Clover would make it back home safely. Now you have me and my wish on your side. Uh, I see. An oak base with iron nails holding it together. Oh, sorry, I was running out for a second. Sure, it's a cool wagon. Huh? Hang on, I think someone's coming this way. Oh, is it who I think it is? Nope, not at all. 
Guys, looky here. Someone knew us. Stumbled into our humble town. This better not be another joke. For once, don't look like it is. Oh, this doesn't look good. Hiya, strangers. Oh, hello. We're just passing through. We mean no harm, I promise. That's what the last guy said. Let's just say he he's one with the wind now. Oh my gosh, you... <laughs> I'm just kidding around. You were shaking your boots for a second. <laughs> you sure got me. That was a very funny, Edward. And I'm sure we are a delight to be around. Nothing you can't handle, I'm sure. Hey. I... Ugh. Why do you two insist on scaring away every monster you meet? At least Moosh never accepts her bounds. Never! Uh, well, it was a pleasure to meet the f you four, but we'll be going now. Hold it right there, Missy. There's a fifth. Are uh, my pals giving you trouble? Come now. That ain't a way to treat guests, now is it? The name's Northstar. I run this town. Not alone, of course. These fine monsters are my posse. Together we are... Five, six, uh, the Feisty Five. Pretty <coughs> Force. <clears throat> and what? Our name stands for... Fearlessness. Excellence. Intuition. Sneakiness. Toughness. Usefulness. Justice. The J is silent. Anyway, now that we're introduced, I'd be glad to give you and your buddy a tour. Hold on. Your buddy? Are they, a uh, human? Um, well, I won't- I won't say no. I knew it. There ain't no doubt in my mind. That character is a real, living, authentic human. Sorry about this. I gotta seize the once life's opportunity. Ed, fetch me the kid. Sure thing. <laughs> and I'm off. Wait, what are you doing with Clover? Ah, uh, Clover, is it? That's a mighty fine name. To answer your question, Feathers, Clover and I got a town to run. Don't Feathers me. You're speaking to Martell the Royal Guard. I can and will report you to King Asgore for this abrasive behavior. Your Royal Guard? That's funny, because I don't see anything to indicate that. No armor? Weapon? Badge? I left it all at my post in Snowden. Please don't bother trying to fool us. He's right. I am truly sorry about this. I really am. But business is business. The other will be the Feisty Six. The alteration? Shush. Clover, I can't go up against these guys. Don't worry, I'll figure this out. Dar should be doing this. Poor Martell is upset. Don't be a buzzkill, Moray. When's the last time something exciting happened around here? You got a point. Hmm. It sounds full of excitement, especially now. Let's go, bud. Oh, and Feathers, welcome to the Wild East. Marky, grabs the vice wire for the house of the sheriff. I have an announcement to make. Great. I'm forced to be part of the group. This little feller is Clover. Hey, Star. What the hell are you doing bringing a human in here? Careful, shush. Now I know what you're all thinking. But trust me, Clover here ain't no greenhorn. You know what they're doing. Just look at that. Actually, this could be fun. Dina hit me. Alright, no more heckling from the crowd. <clears throat> Ladies and gentle monsters, as Clover said, Clover is a human. I know, exciting stuff, a real honor. Now, I would let Clover tell you all about their life, but I've been setting up. A bit of a human expert, if you don't know. Oh, great. Here we go. Here we go, indeed. Do you know that humans use monsters for transportation? It's true. Oh, God, this is going to be a Chocobo reference. Large four-legged monsters. You put a seat on top of them and everything. They're called Horses Star. Ah, so you know one of them personally. That's quite impressive. 
<laughs> Just know that humans are fireproof. Whether when they're feeling accomplished, they run monsters straight into a huge fiery sphere. Oh. So the monsters burn, right? Most monsters aren't fireproof. Now, are you saying my friend horses were killed by a fiery sphere? No, um, well, I'm not quite sure. I'll ask Clover. Do monsters die? Uh no? See? Everyone's fireproof. That's not how that works. <laughs> Did you know that? Look, Star, you don't need to keep this up. Because it's all true. Every word. Huh, I knew it. I'm pretty darn good, aren't I? You're the best. You always share for me. Oh, boy. Well, I reckon we're done here. Y'all can go back to your daily lives now. That seemed a bit short. As for you, Clover, it's about time to see what this town has to offer. I'll give you a personal tour, but if there's one thing you have where you, you come from, it's freedom. Take your time exploring, talk to the townsfolk, enjoy yourself. I'll be waiting here for you. Give me a shout when you're ready to start training. Training? You're gonna say freedom, but you're not gonna let me leave this particular building, are you? Everyone is wrapped up in a conversation. Quite the popular spot. Yeah, I feel like it's gonna be the same thing. What an introduction, right? Hope we didn't have any stage fright. So you just can be scary, all wooden, occasionally making faces at you. Dog, block, fair block, howdy, human. How is he still? North Star is the coolest! One time, a construction team was demolishing a building in a new home. But oh wow, and if it was in the way of the building as it was came crashing down, suddenly North Star appeared and wound his lasso up. He wrangled that skyscraper without bringing a. S he wrangled the skyscraper! <laughs> Saving his life, the building gave North Star 1 million G. True story, true story. Oh, he saved the building. Okay. <laughs> Not the kid. Nope, the building. You're Clover, right? I am right. Your name has come up once or twice. Huh? You look confused. Alright, I'm not rhyming. Yeah, that's just a company policy. It gets a little tiresome sometimes. But other than that, I have no complaints. It's a great job. Went treated for the world. I'm a little worried, though. These days, those fancy cell phones are all the rage. I don't know how long the mail service will. Oh boy. Oh me, oh my, my breaks come to an end. See you next time there's letters to send. And there he goes. I'll come around and say it. Yes, I am a finger. I came for you with the last shipment of bottles. A chicken finger? But um So the monsters are enjoying a nice fair game of poker. How do I keep losing? Gee, I wonder why. Continue hanging up. This could be anyone's game. Shucks, I might have to take out a loan if I wanna keep if I wanna keep this up. Well played, boys, well played. <laughs> He's all lies, guys. Come on now. Dude isn't always this crowded. It's happy hour, you see. Half price drinks. But don't but you don't know that though so they'll continue to sell full price drink. Okay. What do you want? What's wrong? I'll tell you what's wrong. My life's a wreck. Wasted, willful, washed up. I was supposed to make it big. I was gonna be a big time producer. You know, show business. I couldn't tell where it went wrong. I studied hard, graduated middle school, what else do you need? So I'm going to a good booking at a joint in Hotland with potential in my eyes. A real fellow wrote up to me and asked if I ever produce an, an artist. Now I'm a great producer, make high beats on my computer every weekend. I had a talent, but I lacked the vision. I told them one wheeled television that he wouldn't make it in the industry. What an idiot I was. They seemed going to follow until he exploded. Not literally, maybe. Look, kid, I'll tell you this. Sometimes it's like we don't control our lives. Fate has a cruel way of teaching us lessons. I will force you to try not to grow arrogant like I did. 
Don't you forget that. And back to sleep he goes. Barsep, oppose a micro a micro frogger start company out there. Okay. That bottle was left there. Nope, can't take the bottle. What about this hat? Nope. You sense You sense cannibalistic intent. Okay. Howdy howdy, human. Take it under my wares. Hard hitting stuff is hard hitting stuff is off limits. Of course it is. So, this is a bar, not a marketplace. Try black jack down the road if you want to bar barter. Okay, there is a place to sell stuff. Good to know. Bye. Ice water. Adult soda. Heels question mark with learn no way. And that's that looks like genocide item. Okay, ignore that. Ice water 15. Root beer. 18 HP. It's family friendly. Feisty cider. A little baby burger. Heels 30. But cost 30. <laughs> Talk. This town. Oh, this little place? It's free fun around here. It was established some years back when the Dunes gave me its name. The Dunes gave its name, if you get me. It should be tossed on its history, but Star don't talk about those days. I was looking for a friendly environment to share my br blah, brewery skills, so here I am. There ain't terribly much to do in this town, but that only makes it more closing. Closing it. Every day has been pretty predictable until you showed up. I'm eager to see what Star's planning. Uh, your snakes? <laughs> I get this question a lot. These fellows are my pets, real reptiles. Not monsters. Their names are Anne, Sammy, and Bert. The underground still houses some critters from the surface, like birds and insects. I found these west of here, hidden in a crevice of sorts. Some monsters think keeping pets is strange, but I think it's cute. You give me someone to talk to you when business is slow. North Star. What a character, our big and courageous sheriff. I get a feeling he ain't as tough as he likes to play up. But then again, maybe he's just clumsy. This old pose is a hoot. They friendly host parties here. He definitely knows the right kind of monsters to surround himself with. Not to mention Kerbos' childhood Kerbo Sabora's childhood friend. I get a kick out of her and Star's antics. She brings her daughter into town. It's basically two against one. <laughs> now that I think about it, it's been a while since I saw the rascal. We really need to get a hold of the gang together again. Can I leave? You can't make time, more hurt my feelings. Oh, I see. Sarah's trying to keep you here since it's a big deal and all. That ain't right if you want that ain't right if you're wanting to go. I'll try not to interfere on Sheriff's Witness, but I'll ask him about it soon. I'm sure he means well by it. Have fun out there. And if I try to leave. Oh, I actually let let the saloon. You there, human. You okay? Yeah? Really? Well, all right then. Apologies for Star's antics. He's really into human culture and whatnot. You show up here and he flips out. I mean, it is quite unbelievable. A few humans have wandered into underground before, but... He never set foot on these sands. All that say, I'm glad you did. My name is Soroba. I'm a friend of Star's, but not part of his posse. They're a bit too rowdy for my taste. May I ask your name? Clover. Welcome to the underground, Clover. Your attire is surprising, I must say. But, um, I, wanna, I won't press you on the matter. I'm afraid Star is going to drag you into his activities for a while. You must have places to go, right? The castle? The barrier? You probably want to go home. If I'm being honest, I haven't seen Star this ex yeah. ecstatic in some time. Maybe you should entertain him for a bit. Roll with his punches. I'll see what I can do about allowing you to leave. I know if of a safe path to Hotland through the... <clears throat> I'm getting my head of myself. Talk to you later, Clover. It was nice to meet you. Jail, news, hospital area. Uh, 
Hey kid, sorry for being so forceful earlier. I'm just doing what Star thinks is best. This whole thing snuck up on us, that's for sure. I'm optimistic about it. Not to brag, but I'm basically Star's right hand man. I'll do all the heavy lifting around here. Sorry, just ask nicely and off I go. Ain't that a cool... I'm sure you have a good time here. Looking forward to the training. There's a hole in the floor. How comfy. Some kind of berry plant. You notice a few berries missing. The room sleeping bag sits in the corner, threatening to restrict free sleepers. You press your on a mattress and watch your hand get swallowed by the memory foam. So soft. A target with darts of various shapes and sizes is sucked, in, sucked into it. Push the hammer. It swings it hypnotizingly. It's a brightly clean kitchen. Impressive. Weird, you haven't seen any cats around. Oh, it's a cat bed, okay. A couch not unfit for a thrift store. These cramped living conditions are bringing back unpleasant memories. A few videotapes with custom labels snuck on them. My favorite movies. My second favorite movie. Don't watch this one, 0 out of 10. You turn on the TV. This is your favorite channel. Static. <laughs> this town is quite the spectacle, is it not? <laughs> I would bury myself in the sand if I could. Yep, yep. Okay, I talked to a little bit of the town, but I need to... Howdy! Gee, seems like my greeting has found its home. Like the hat? It's a disguise. This area is pretty popular, so I picked this up to be safe. You being separate from Martell is pretty lucky, but... I hope this star guy doesn't hold you here for long. I may have to intervene if he does. Let me save again. I wasn't lying about being close to an exit earlier. I just didn't expect all of this. On the bright side, you may be able to attain some gear upgrades here. This roadblock isn't totally pointless. <laughs> what do you mean by interfering? I have... Hmm, that's a bit worrying. Anyway. Talked a little bit to town, we got... Somewhat captured. Into. And the star guy is probably gonna cause a bit of trouble. Anyway. This has been Vise, and I'll see you guys for what's to come. Bye-bye for now.